Ready Nation, what's the deal, man? Once again, it's your guy Panama Fargo. Back to y'all live with another episode of the Raider Rundown. Make sure y'all tap on that like and subscribe button. Even hit on the little notification bell to get updated whenever the kid drops some of this dope-ass content. So look, without further ado, some breaking news for y'all, man. Austin Hooper has signed with the Las Vegas Raiders, right? This comes after the signing of OJ Howard. So the Raiders are really filling out that tight end room, man. And, and with this signing right here, I'm not really mad at it. I, I actually do like the signing coming in, man. You, we, We're hoping to get that Atlanta Austin Hooper. You know what I mean? He had, he had his, his couple good years with Atlanta. Everybody thought it was going to be a breakthrough, man. But hasn't really shaked out with that like that for his career, man. But we really got to look at the scope. Because the stats and all that don't really tell the whole story. Now, he was with the Cleveland Browns. And then he was with the Tennessee Titans. He's coming off a year, last year, where he only had 400 receiving yards, 40 receptions, and, you know, two touchdowns. But we got to look deeper, man. What type of teams was, was he on? Cleveland, Tennessee, two run-first heavy, run-dominant teams who got two great running backs, you know what I mean? And they lean on them heavy. Not much production he could have gave in those situations, you know what I mean? And, and now you're looking at it. You're looking at an offense that he could come, really stretch, you know, stretch the field and, and get vertical, you know what I mean? So now we're going to really see him run, get in the open field and see what he can do as far as running routes and getting back to his natural form like he was in Atlanta. Now, look, he's only 28 years old, still a lot of good football left in him. And, and if we're banking on getting that Atlanta Austin Hooper, this was a steal, bro. This tight end room is now shaping up very nicely. You get rid of Darren Waller with the third overall pick, but you bring in two viable tight ends, two big tight ends that can also block as well. I still anticipate, you know, the Raiders to add a rookie tight end from this draft class because this draft class is so deep when it comes to the tight end position. So you might as well add one. But you know what I mean? For what it's looking like right now, the Raiders are in very good position as it sits with this group right here. So, you know, that that's all the news. Make sure you stay subscribed, stay hitting on the like button, man. Hit on the notification bell to get updated whenever I drop some of this content because I'm going to keep y'all updated. Remember, my name is Panama Fargo, and I always keep it authentic from the clouds to the ground on the Raider Rundown.